The Vaps are first mentioned in the Russian Primary Chronicle in 859 AD as a leaderless tribe living near the old Ladaga and paying tribute to Viking raiders. According to the Chronicles, the Vepsians were distinct from other Finnic people who the Chronicles called Chud. The Russians essentially classified the Uralic people in northern Russia into three categories. Chud Bilaglazea, meaning light-eyed Chud, which included such people as Estonians, Finns and Karelians. Chud Chornaglazea, meaning dark-eyed Chud, which was a term they had reserved for those Finnic tribes living on the Sohona River and Zavalochia region. And Ves, which is an archaic term for Vepsians. There is a reason that the Russians did not use Chud to refer to the Vepsians. In Russian language, the root Chud means foreign, Chujoi, someone of a different culture. The Vepsians were the first Uralic people to adopt Christianity in the 11th century, and since then they have been an integral part of Rus. Russians had continuous contact with the Vepsians and assimilated many. This is why the Vepsians were not foreigners to them. The Northern Russians inherited many Vepsian traditions, such as the utilization of slash-and-burn agriculture. This agricultural method relies on cutting down and burning trees and then spreading the ash over the soil to create a friendly environment for the crops. Slavic Russians traditionally used the open field system for agriculture, but in the north, where Vepsian influence was strong, mostly slash-and-burn agriculture was practiced. Vepsian genetics are very fascinating. Despite speaking a Uralic language, the Vepsians are more Indo-European than most people in Europe genetically. I ran this QP admixture model on Vepsians to illustrate my point. Over half of their ancestry is step-related, but they have a significant portion of Anatolian farmer, hunter-gatherer, and of course Siberian ancestry as well. The Veps are more Siberian than the Finns are, scoring 12% Siberian on my model. In terms of their hunter-gatherer versus farmer breakdown, the largest component in Vepsian DNA is Anatolian Neolithic farmer, same as in all the other Europeans. However, they have an elevated level of Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry at 29%, which is higher than elsewhere in continental Europe and sets them apart from other Europeans. In terms of deeper or Paleolithic admixture, the Veps descend primarily from the Zuzuana cluster, which is a common West Eurasian source of ancestry all West Eurasians have DNA from. The Anatolian Neolithic farmers descended entirely from Zuzuana, whereas the Caucasus hunter-gatherers descended mostly from Zuzuana. Aside from Zuzuana ancestry, the Veps also have a significant portion of ancient North Eurasian, Western hunter-gatherer, and Siberian ancestry, which cannot be ignored as it is the source of their language. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 10 modern Vepsians from the Human Origins dataset. I ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Let's review the results. The most common Y lineage was N1A1, but R1A and I1 lineages were also present. The most common predicted phenotypes were Gorid and Nordid, but there was an individual with pointed phenotype as well. Here is the average predicted phenotype. The most common predicted eye color was blue, but there were people with green and brown eyes as well. The most common predicted hair color was light brown, but two samples scored dark blonde and three samples also scored dark brown for their hair color. I need to state that the HL files lack relevant genotypes in the MC1R region, so it's impossible to know if any of them had red hair. The most common predicted skin color was white. Most samples scored wavy for their predicted hair texture, 6 out of 10 samples scored snub for their predicted nose shape, and most samples had high odds of baldness. The Vepsians had low odds of allergies, which goes in contrast with Udmurts and Mansi, who had very high predisposition to allergies. Every single Vepsian was predicted to be lactase persistent based on their LCT genotypes. They were mostly predicted to have lower levels of empathy. The Vepsians had average odds of hemoglobin E disease, high odds of Alzheimer's, and high odds of type 2 diabetes. The Vepsians had low odds of ischemic stroke, low odds of atrial fibrillation, and overall low odds of cardiovascular issues. The Vepsians had low odds of depression, low odds of bipolar type 1, but high predisposition to autism. The Vepsians had very high odds of type 1 diabetes, high odds of multiple sclerosis, which is typical of Europeans, and one of the Vepsians carried the risk variants for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene. Hemochromatosis is often referred to as the Celtic curse. 
The Websians had a very high predisposition to polycythemia vera based on JAK2 genotype, very high predisposition to testicular cancer based on Keto G genotype, and high predisposition to leukemia. The Websians had high levels of vitamin D, which is good, but also high levels of LDL and low levels of HDL cholesterol, which is bad. Thank you for watching my video until the end. Links to purchase these Websians raw DNA will be in the description. In the description, you will also find links to Andre DNA products and services such as pod modeling, trade predictor executable, and more. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video.